Hey there, history peeps. So my photography skills, uh, as mentioned before, really need some work. So you're going to have to listen to me, um, which I know is, is a lot, but we're almost done. So hang in there. Let me set my timer so I don't go over. And um, we'll talk about the West. So we talked some about westward expansion, and it's kind of interesting uh, just because the West, as far as Anglo-Americans, European Americans, anyway, are concerned is not as settled. Um, there are already people there, always important to remember. Lots of Native American tribes here. There have been since way before, since Lewis and Clark. They've met a lot of them. Um, and that was, you know, 50 years before what we're talking about. Not to mention a lot of this had been Mexico. So there are Mexican populations, not only in Texas, which we group with the South, but also in California some in New Mexico, Arizona, but California and Texas are the big ones uh, that had old Mexican populations that already existed. Um, but there's Native American populations all around here. But if you were to ask one of the um, white settlers moving in or someone back east who's an American, right, they would have considered the West untamed, unsettled, uh, and they're just starting to settle it. So Due to the fact there's fewer Americans, um, it's going to uh, change how they kind of have an outlook on the world. Now, first off, Oregon, which is right here, sorry for photography, right? Oregon and, oh my gosh, come on, Mr. Gunn. Oregon and California, those are both states. Okay. They both become states in pretty much record time because so many people move there. Um, Oregon for the farmlands, California for the gold rush, and then also eventually the farmland. People realize there's other things in California besides just gold. Um, and in fact, you're not very likely to find gold um, or not enough to be rich anyway. So that is kind of the first thing that I think we tend to forget is that these will become states in record time. Kansas is also a free state. Okay, so don't forget about Kansas. Kansas. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. All right. Anyway, so that's what's going on with the states in the West. The Mexican session is a little wonky. You can see it right here. Okay, this is the Mexican session. So basically what happened, Texas, and I know you're like, Texas, what? Why are we talking about Texas all of a sudden? I'm going to tell you quickly about the Mexican-American War. We're going to talk more about it in class. But basically, um, Texas, right, right here, had become an independent country. We talked about that. Remember the Alamo, all that good stuff. Um, and when Texas became an independent country, there was a division in America. Should we annex Texas, make it a part of America, which is what a lot of the Texans wanted. Remember, they were... Americans first, and a lot of them haven't forgotten that, or should we not? Well, Texas has a lot of issues. It has a big old debt, and it has a disputed border with Mexico, and Mexico is like, if you annex Texas, make it a part of your country, it's a rebellious province, so that's that's war, right? When you say to another country, hey, this is ours now, yeah, don't worry about the details, no, we're not going to pay for it, that's usually a war. So we end up annexing Texas. Uh, I'm actually listening to a, or reading a book about this right now, uh, which is very interesting. It was a president trying to save his presidential kind of hopes, which is a great way for policymaking, trust me. But anyway, we annexed Texas and there was a dispute over where the border was between two rivers. It doesn't matter. Just know we sent our military into this disputed area, knowing they'd be attacked and they were attacked. And we said American blood was spilled on American soil. Not sure that's true. But anyway, we invade Mexico, two year war, two year war uh, of America, basically fighting all through Texas, fighting all through California, fighting all through New Mexico. Uh, we also invade, it's not Mexico's not on this map, but we actually invade Mexico. Long story short, we won, clearly, and we gained this thing called the Mexican Session, okay, which is this gray part here, and then it goes up here as well, right? That's the Mexican Session, um, and we gained that in our war with Mexico, 
I'm about at my time limit. So I will see you in the next video.